because this collection has had so much. Some things were great, up some things were bad, and some things were here and there. But I have found plenty of ways to do that. Every single piece of my man's Hey everybody, I'm Diz Desmond, the CEO and Creative Director of Ethnicity Brand. Make sure you check us out at www.ethnicitybrand.com, your fashion and style guru to anything and everything hot. Today I am doing a review of the uh, Moschino Collection for H&M from a young black man's perspective, but what I think. Now, the reason I say that is because this collection has had so much up and down, up and down, up and down, especially with the men. Um, I think so many of the prints and stuff were exactly what you expect out of Moschino, the louds, the crazy, the vibrant, and that's actually what I enjoy about it. Some people can't get along with it, can't get with it, they're just confused, so especially a lot of guys, but there are a lot of key pieces that are essential to keeping you fly at least this season. Um, some things were great, some things were bad, some things were here and there, but I have found plenty of ways to maneuver every single piece from men's to women's to accessories to jewelry. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go straight into it. So, a lot of the pieces sold out so super duper fast um, on the release date. Everything was gone. If you went to the stores after 11 or 12 o'clock, it was no chance that you getting your hands on anything. But I did manage to almost score the whole collection. And here's a tip to anybody who's into this kind of thing and collecting and making sure you get all the pieces. The facts are, when the clothes are released, so many people go to these stores, they stand in line, and when they get there, it's like, I just need to get stuff. I need to get my hands on whatever I can get. They're grabbing shirts, they're grabbing coats, they're grabbing shoes, phone cases, everything. The facts are that they're probably not going to keep that stuff. This is what I liked about what H&M did this time around. They gave you a window to bring things back. I think it was in like seven or eight days or so like that after release date. Once it was, um, once that seven or eight days had gone by, things started being returned. And what H&M did was instead of them being returned and put on the floor, they returned them and shipped them to the warehouse. From the warehouse, they went online. So a lot of the pieces have been servicing back up online, not just in eBay. Of course, eBay went crazy that first week with the sales. People were making almost three times, you know, the retail value. But once they got back online, you were able to repurchase again. The thing is that you had to consistently check day on a day, hour on an hour, minute on a minute. Buy, buy, buy. As soon as you get in your car, buy it. So that's why I'm stuck with almost 80 boxes worth of pieces. And I want to go through it all for you. My first piece that I overly enjoy, I have to say, is the sweatshirt and the sweatpants. It was epic. Um, at first, I did not enjoy it. I'm not going to lie. It was not my key piece. I am more into the, 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 the patterns and that kind of thing. And this, I thought, was very, very chill, relaxed. But once I got it and I put it on, overly pleased. The quality on it is amazing. What I really, really like about this um this, this whole entire set, including the hat. It's like so much detail, and everything about the collection has so much little detail. Stuff like this just does it for me. Um, I overly enjoyed that. The pants were amazing. The one thing I wasn't overly thrilled about, well, I was thrilled about, but I got my son a pair of pants, is that the pants don't go all the way down to your ankles. They're, for somebody tall, I'm six feet. Anybody taller than that, anybody taller than like 5'10", it's not going to hit your ankles. It's going to fit you like your typical pair of joggers. Also, it's cut just a tad bit small. Not a bad thing. Small and trendy. Um, so if you're normally a medium, picking up a large wouldn't hurt. Or, you know, you, you can make it work. But um, I, I am a normally a small medium sometimes. And I got a medium. It fits me amazing. But one of my friends is also a medium. And it fit him a little bit snug. But, hey, it's all, you know, whoever, how it floats for you. Whatever floats your boat. Um, epic, epic, epic. Um, this is probably one of my favorite pieces. Um, there's a lot of ways to style this and put this together. I have it in white. I also sometimes wear it with a coat. It looks epic. Lots of things you could do with this. This is typical. Any guy around can do it. So I'm about to move to my next piece. But I must say, if you were one of the people that, or, or are one of these type of people that stick to is it men's or is it women's before you put it on? 
you are going to think about this collection all, all the way wrong. If you went to the website and you were only searching the men's department, you could have been searching the women's because a lot of things were cut almost identical. Um, like literally. And a couple, my second, one of my, this is actually probably another one of my most favorite pieces, was the gold chain belt. I'm not sure if you guys got the chain belts. I know that the chain belts are not for men. And um, a lot of guys passed this up. It was a, probably one of the more pricier items. But this was amazing. Uh, I know ladies would wear a chain belt, of course, and men don't typically wear a chain belt. They go here and dangle it. But I think the most ideal thing to do with this chain belt for me was to take it here. Um, I put it around my neck and it becomes a necklace. This is an epic piece to styling. This can go a long, 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 long way. Um, once I got the belt, I noticed the quality. It was epic, it was amazing, it looked good, it felt good, it was heavy, it was bulky. It gave you everything you would want out of uh, men's accessories and stuff like that. While it was made for a woman's waist, um, the ratio to, to um, weight and everything would look good on a man's neck. So I decided to go ahead and like really run with it. I went ahead and got the necklace too. Um, I figured if I, I could stack it up and you know that kind of thing. The only flaw with the necklace is it, it is a tad bit small. But once you get to layering it, it, it can work and you can do your thing with it. Um, might not be the thing of all guys, but for me, I think it's going to work. For a couple other guys, it'll work. You know, just do it like that. And not only that, I did also went ahead and got the, the bracelet, too. I thought the bracelet and I thought all of this together was epic. It was amazing. I know it was a woman's piece, but it's something that when, it's, when it comes to styling and, and that art and that thing, this is how you do it. This, is, this was a great... Um, the belt retailed, I think, at almost 200 This would, I, might have been 69 and I think this was $49 US dollars. Um, together, it looks good. It looks amazing. I think for $300 for some good statement fashion jewelry, it's a key piece to a lot of guys' wardrobe. Another piece I overly enjoy, you know, I, I just think that accessories and stuff is like key to a man's wardrobe. Like, guys, we can get fresh and we can get fly and buy all the right garments and clothes and stuff like that but i think when we get the accessories right that's what really 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 pulls it together and this next piece was epic now i'm going to show you what i did and how i did to make it amazing so they had this condom gold studded necklace that was there but everyone knows that those were like the first things to sell out and i don't think that they supplied a lot i don't know if it was a lot of uh, I don't know what was up more, demand or qu quantity, but they were all gone. It was so hard to get your hands on them. I never even seen it in person. How about that? So they had these earrings. And I actually have another pair also. I have a full set. The girls were snatching these earrings up big time. I did. I was able to get my hands on two pairs. And what I did was just take off the top piece and put a chain on it. Um, I know the necklace in stores retailed for about um, 49 bucks, and so did the earrings. But for the price of 49 bucks, I was able to get two pieces and do this. Of course, you got to Frankenstein your thing, you know, make it work, take off this piece, put a chain in, make it happen. But this was a dope buy. I've been wearing this. This has gotten so much attention with just nothing, just this or just a t-shirt and this. This has been getting a lot of attention. It even looks epic on the back. It looks just like your traditional Magnum wrapper. Um, a buy. It's a buy. This was a good deal. This was worth it, in my opinion. This is something that was I, I overly enjoyed about this collection. This was epic. I love this. Another piece I enjoyed... Well, let me say, I think when I got to buying stuff, I started just getting almost everything. and I wasn't sure about this bag... But when I got it, it was epic. Um, this oversized book bag is an amazing piece. It's huge. It has to be at least two feet. It, it covers my entire back. What I really enjoy about this book bag the most is the hardware. The hardware is it's, it's amazing. Like the details on this collection is unreal. Um, everything about the hardware. Um, Look at how amazing that zipper is. It's amazing with the leather, leather um, pulleys. 
and also the zipper, the heavy zipper. Look, look at this. Like, this is the detail type stuff that I love, 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 love on clothes. It could be your most basic clothes, but if you have the right details, it's everything. Uh, the inside has another zipper. It's huge. It could almost fit. I have a huge briefcase right here that we make, my company makes. Make sure you check us out, ethnicitybrand.com. And um, it almost fits this whole damn briefcase. Like, this thing is fucking huge. I love, 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 love this. It's um amazing, amazing buy. Uh, this was one of the more pricey pieces too, 250, but definitely, definitely, definitely worth the buck. 250 American dollars, um, definitely worth the buck. So I want to get into some of the women's wear and um how you can style it for a man to make it work. Um, I had to change the shirt so I can show you what's going on. So they had this mesh dress thing. It was very, very sexy. It looks amazing on women. Um, I've seen it on a few uh, other reviews. It is actually really hot. You can put anything under it. You can put nothing under it. It's amazing. But one thing I enjoy, I enjoyed the design. And I said, there's something that I can do with this for a man. And I think that if you put this under a um, shirt or over a shirt, should I say, with a nice collared shirt under it, this becomes a look, guys. Um... This here is, is something you can do. This is definitely something you can do. Guys, please don't be afraid because it says women's. This is a look for guys. You can put another color shirt under it. You can put a tie on it. If you want to make it match, get your pink ties and your red ties and really make it work. This, this is a look. This is something you can do. This is something easy. This is on a women's section for 129 American dollars, but this I enjoy. Um, I think most guys can get away with it. Definitely try it if you run across it. This is the piece. This is a big statement piece. The way it's just plastered, Moschino cross with the, you know, it just gives you everything you expect out of Moschino. So I think um, trying those boundaries and trying to figure out the men's versus the women versus how you wear it versus who wears it, it's, it's loads of ways to do it. Get this piece. So the next item I'm going to do is I'm going to do these pants. Uh, the print on this collection, the, these pieces, these cohesive looks, I actually love them. Um, I thought it was cool online, but when I saw it in person, I was a little like, ah. I thought it was going to be bright white, and it's actually uh, creamy, or or maybe like an off-white, softer something, like a dirty, dirty white. And it's not the best, but I do enjoy the pants. These are women's pants, and I also didn't like the... Um, the feel once I put them on. Um, not from the inside, but from the outside. I didn't really like the way they looked. Um, they were okay. I'm going to keep them, though. I am going to keep them because I think they're cool. I think I can do something with them. But for a guy who's a tad bit confused about some of the things, this is not a piece. Um, they do drop deep enough for men to put them on. I'll say that. Um, it doesn't cut tight. You know how the seams here, this inseam, will cut tight on a lot of women's pants. It does drop deep enough for men to put them on. Um, it doesn't stretch much. This is a size 42 European, so that's like a 10 American, which is m women's 10. But this, this is, this is a piece that you probably can skip. Um, I think they were like 99 bucks. Not bad for 99 bucks, but I think for 99 bucks you can do something else out of H&M or a different pair of jeans and rock some other flyness with it from somewhere else. Um, this is okay. Uh, but a pass. Yet, in the same breath, there is a lot of things you can do with it. If you're really feeling this pattern, definitely, definitely go ahead and get them. But just to show you that how deep the crotch is, you have all of this space here. And, which is interesting, because um, I don't know how it, how that piece fits for women. I'm, I'm assuming it may be fine, but I don't know. It also doesn't come as deep down to the floor. It's right above the legs, but a lot of guys like to have the short slacks these days, but... You can definitely do these. This is cool. This is dope. This is fun. But if I had the choice to, to buy now or send them back and get some money back, I would send them back. But I'm going to keep them. But I can understand if another guy doesn't like them. Next up, I am going to do the boots. The boys' black boots with the chain on them. Um, amazing. I've already started wearing these, so I got details on how to wear and what they feel like. Also... Um, what I really love is the box, the packaging, the dust bags, like, they really went in and went hard with this as if you were buying, and you are, I guess, buying real Moschino, but if you buy the, 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 the high-end line, should I say. Um, here's my review on these boots. 
epic and amazing. Um, at first I had a big question mark, do I really want these? But once they got here, I fell in love. <sighs> the quality, the leather, it's, it's, it's good quality. It's worth the money. It's definitely worth the money. Um, my only flaw is that the boot is really heavy. Um, I'm typically a sneaker guy, a basketball shoe kind of guy, and sometimes I got a few, you know, um, other boots and stuff that I do like, and, and typically Jeremy Scott is my shoe of choice, and he does a lot of tennis shoes, but this is a really heavy boot, but but it's very fashionable. Um, when you compare this, probably the weight of this to like a Timberland is probably almost double. And I couldn't imagine that it's because of the chain. The chain is really, really, really high quality. The metal is, is epic. It's unreal. Also, the sole is a little bit thick. Um, very thick, actually. But um, not so bad. I know it'll raise you up a, 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 almost a half of an inch off the ground or to your normal height. But definitely, definitely, definitely a great buy. I really, really, really enjoy these boots. Um, they're, they're ready to wear, like ready to go anywhere and everywhere. Um, Definitely, definitely a purchase. This was also another one of the more pricier items. This was like two forty nine or two ninety nine American dollars. But for for some good shoes, good quality, good feel, these will take you quite a few years, quite a few years. And I have a pair of um, other boots that I got from Jimmy Choo, and I've been wearing those for like five or six years, and I'm expecting these to do at least the same. So um, great job on these. Definitely a buy. Let me also say this. I am straight up a sucker for streetwear. I love, love streetwear. I love pieces. I love sneakers. I love boots. I love sweats and all that kind of stuff. But this collection exceeds what I thought I would get from this collab. Now, this um, this piece, I'm putting my hat on because my hair is crazy. It's, it's been a long week. It's my birthday weekend. And yeah, Christmas is coming. All of those things. This isn't going to happen right now. So don't worry. This piece was epic. This is another piece that was listed under the women's. Now, this is a dress, so they say, but I'm, I'm a lover for the deep, long um, sweatsuits. I like that kind of thing, and that's why I knew the dress would be dope on me. Um, definitely, fellas, get this piece. I didn't see this in person when, before I purchased it. I thought that it was just some kind of print on blah, blah, blah. But once it got, and I thought that it was a tad bit expensive also. It was $1.99. And I was like, come on now. That's a bit much from the gray sweatsuit to this. No, not a good deal. But I still got it just because I'm going to get with it. And then when I got it, I really was able to really look and pay attention and get into the real, the detail. It's, that's what this collection is really all about. It's the detail, like these, um, I don't even know what this is, but it has this metal feel to it. It's all, look, all the beading and everything. It's really, 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 really a good buy. Now, I have this a couple different ways. I have it in the dress. I have it in the boy's hoodie. I have it in the zip up. They all are exceptional, exceptional, exceptional. This piece is something that you'll probably have in your collection or in your closets for a very long time. You can talk to them with anything. Black pants, jeans, shorts, leather pants. It doesn't matter. This is going to steal the show. This is a look. Definitely get it. Okay, so next up was this jersey. I'm not a big fan of it. I, I do like it, though. I like it. I wouldn't get rid of it. What I really like is the big obnoxious Moschino across the back. Um, it's cool. It's dope. I'm a, I'm a lover of like mesh shirts and stuff like that. So I could wear that out when I'm rocking at the beach or I'm city to city, state to state. It keeps me cool. I think it's fun. The only thing that drives me nuts with this is Mickey's um, Mickey. Uh, I don't like that sheen thing that it's doing. It's that... Um, that iron on thingy thing, but what it is cool that they didn't go cheesy about it is that they um put embroidery around the entire um Mickey Mouse body, so that makes it even look a little bit more expensive. This is a cool piece. This is a fun piece. This is a good piece. It was like ninety nine bucks. Huh, whatever. If it it's it's a cool piece, I wouldn't send it back. I think I'm gonna enjoy it 
within time. But I think a way of styling this may be a little less trendy and a little more old school. Maybe with some big pants or some bigger jeans and maybe a cool jacket, jean jacket, something like that. The hockey style fit is cool for me too also. I like this kind of stuff. Kind of big, it's kind of comfortable. So it's cool. So, the other jersey is this jersey. I think that this is cool as fuck. I fucking love it. To be honest, I thought I would like it more when I saw it online. But after a couple days of really looking at it and enjoying it, I really, really do like it. Now, this is listed under the women's department, too. This is called the dress something, something, something. The baseball jersey dress. But, guys, this is a piece that you can use for yourself. If you are into more snug fit clothes, definitely get the extra small this is a medium, and it's definitely, definitely really big. It's definitely, definitely deep and long. This is my knee here, so you can see how deep and long and oversized it is. It's definitely a number. Um, the back is kind of simple, just um, your standard, you know, red and white uh, baseball-style jersey with um, Goofy and his girl on there. Um, definitely, definitely dope. I Like, like I said, everything about the um, collection has these big, obnoxious... Mosquitoes written everywhere, which is dope. Um, I like this piece. This is a good buy. Um, I don't remember how much this was, but definitely a good buy. And it's comfortable. Definitely breathable. Summertime fun. Summertime all that at the park, out and about. Still want to look fly. Still want to be cool. This is a good piece. So, if you were into underwear, or wear underwear, some guys, the underwear were definitely a cool buy. Um, these weren't that expensive. This was something fun, something I'm going to give I got a couple pairs of these that I'm going to give away to like some friends and stuff. I like these underwear. The only thing is that um, I'm not a fan of the trunks, um, the short trunks. I like the full-size boxer briefs or sometimes boxers. Honestly, I like boxers more, but people think that boxer briefs are sexier, so I wear them sometimes. But I'm not a big fan of the trunks. Um, but if you are, this is a good buy. This is a good deal. You get three in a pack, like all men draws. And <laughs> you get three different ones. Dr Fellas, you know we always get the pack, and it has five of the same underwear in it. We don't care. I have a drawer full of underwear, and they're all black. Every single one looks the same. So if you want to switch it up a little bit, these are definitely cool. Um, the only thing I didn't like, I didn't like that it said Asian Machino, even though that was the hashtag and. I thought that was epic how they did the H and Machino together for the H&M collection. But I wanted the stuff that said Moschino all the way straight out. I didn't want to play with the H. But I did get these. It was a couple other pieces that said H and Moschino. But this was dope um, and a good buy. Um, I like these and I'm going to give a couple of these out for Christmas. So. so if you've been following along with the collection prior to me, like with all the major publicity that's gone into the marketing and everything with this you i'm sure you've seen this this was one of the leading pieces or leading prints for this for the collection um this came in everything i got it all i got the pants i got the jacket and i got the main jacket um i love 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 this piece fellas this shirt they call a dress get it it this is a look this is a piece this is good if it's epic uh, I think this is a size 40. Um, definitely pair it up with some pants, and it's dope. I got the coat also. The coats fit extra uh, oversized a little bit. I think mine's is like a small or, oh, that's a medium. I got a medium, but this is the only one. This is the very last coat in store, so I got it. I probably would have gotten a large or a medium. I probably would have got a large. But the medium, I'm glad I got the medium, and I almost didn't try it on just because it said medium. But it fit great. I really, really like it. I think when I rock it, I'm definitely going to probably rock it with all of my accessories. And, like, really, really, really just go ham on it. And um, I'm definitely going to wear the pants to give a full monochromatic look. I love monochromatic looks. I think that stuff like that is trendy, easy, fun fashion. Definitely try to pull those looks off, fellas. That's all I can say about this coat. This coat is the piece. I don't know who can get their hands on these, where you're gonna find them at, but this is a look. This coat is epic. The quality, the sequin, everything about it is good. It's a tad bit oversized, fellas, so um, 
feel free to turn it down a, a size if you want. If you typically buy a large, get yourself a small. I mean, get yourself a medium. And if you buy a medium, feel free to get yourself a small or whichever size you want. They, this coat is epic. It's amazing. It feels good. It's puffy. Quality is unreal. Um, this is the piece. Speaking of showstoppers, Killer Cam, this is for you. This, this is this is straight you all day long. I do like this. I can't fake. I can't front. Now, the only thing is that it's listed online as cherry red or some kind of red, but this is definitely pink. There's no there's no in-betweens. This is definitely 100% pink. If you are one of those guys that can get away with pink looks, I think I can pull this off. I know what it, what it takes to really pull this off. You will get away and be stopped consistently about this. The detail on this coat is unreal. The chains, the leather, everything that's going through it, the inside lining. The only, the good thing about this coat is that it's super warm. I think the flaw for a woman is probably going to be super heavy. This coat is extremely heavy. Um, compared to any down or wool coats, this coat, the hardware in this coat is... The real deal. Um, I think that when she or even he puts it on, it's going to look so good you you won't even know or pay attention to the weight. It will be the very last thing on your mind. Clearly someone who wears this kind of coat is looking for something that looks extremely good when they're out in public. This is it. Definitely get it. And since we're on the first, this piece right here was definitely cool. Uh, it was one of the least well, not the least expensive, but it was closer to the to the cheaper range. I mean, of course, it's just a scarf, but it was about sixty nine bucks, and I think it's good a good buy. Could you buy something else for sixty nine bucks at this same quality? Yes, but what I like is I really like these tails. I like this vintage feel on them. I like how it moves. I like all everything about it. I like the color. I like the pop of yellow. Something that you could do on anything and, and it just be like totally disrespectful when you wear it in fashion you're going to love it i'm telling you what i really like is that uh these pieces come off so if you're not into that definitely get rid of it but this for me becomes accessory somewhere somehow definitely 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 a good buy all right so this piece i actually love too i wasn't thrilled to get it at first but when i got it it was amazing i had this in both the sweatshirt and the dress. This I have on is the dress. The reason I want to show you the dress, fellas, is because I do not want you to be discouraged by it saying dress or women's wear. This, a lot of the clothes are cut almost identical. They're oversized, so they're fitting like men's clothes. So that's perfect for a man who wears men's clothes. Um, this is amazing. The only thing I didn't really, my, my, was not the best for me. Of course, again, was the, um, the iron patch that they put here. But with the outline and everything, it looks good, and I like how they did this. The difference here with the men's version is um, this is more cream. It says white online, but it's more cream, and the men's is bright white. Also, it doesn't have Moschino across the chest for the men's. It's a shorter version, and it has Moschino on the back. I actually love that about it, though. I like the big, crazy, just obnoxious thing everywhere, but I love the way it's on the back. So that's a really good buy. Um, another thing I got, not for me, but the jean jacket, this is amazing. I can't fake and deny the rhinestones on here are epic. The quality of this jacket and of all of this is amazing. This jacket was a tad bit expensive too. I got this for my sister. It was $1.99. Was not thrilled about paying $1.99, but I think once I got it, I said, okay, well, I can see where the quality comes in at. I also think that if you match it on the skirt that's online, it's a, a dangerous outfit. Definitely get it. Um, I did not get the skirt, but I think that it will be really, really hot together. A couple other things I got was the pink dress. Uh, this is amazing, actually. The, the, the quality of this shirt is epic. Well, it's a dress, but you can wear it like a shirt. I would try it on. But it fits just like the rest of the dresses. Like you just pull it up and boom, it's a sweater. This is nice if you're into pink. Cam, this is you. Killer Cam, this is you all day. Uh, for me, the pink is a little bit too bright. Um, the embellishment also 
makes it a little bit more softer. Um, and with the sequin also, because sequin is such a tricky fabric, especially for men, we can get away with it, but depending on how it's designed, which will make it look more masculine or more feminine. And this is definitely, definitely, definitely 100% all feminine, unless you are solely into pink. If you are into pink and you know about pulling off pink, this is not going to be your first time wearing pink, you can do this. Um, I'm probably going to give it to my niece only because I have so much other crap that I doubt if I am going to actually ever really wear this. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely a buy though. I think it was like $129 or $99. So for the quality of this and with everything that's going on, this is a good buy. Another piece was this jacket. These were hard to get your hands on, but this is a look. This is a piece. I can't fit this. I bought this for my sister because she's been trying, like, even now for, like, the last three or four weeks to tell me to get this jacket. Every time it's online, she's calling me at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. I told her that I couldn't get it, and I do secretly have it. But when I got it, I'm like, oh, this is, this is, this is what Moschino is all about. This is what it's all about. Um... The inside layer is amazing. The outside, the small details for the coat um, hook, coat rack. And it, it's it's just a good buy. The quality of the fur, I like the gorilla feel of the um, the fur. It's not nothing really, really extra fab, but it's definitely nothing cheesy. I am a big fan. I think that this is probably an uh, amazing buy. It was expensive. I think it was $2.99. But, um... Everybody knows something like this can run you $200 easy. So for $2.99, not so bad. And especially if you find it online and you get the maybe a 20% off coupon or something. Or if you do, or if you are able to find it again, definitely get it. It's going to be hard, but you might find it. So really, that's about it. Of course, there's this. And I have loads and loads of all of the sweatshirts and the different sweatpants and this jacket and... And even the t-shirts, um, they were all amazing. These pieces I don't really have to speak for. Guys, you know how to rock this. This boom, t-shirt, jeans, shirt, you know, that kind of thing. I got the slippers also. The slippers were cool. Um, 69 bucks, or was it 99 bucks? Not so bad. At first when I got them, I said, I'm taking these shits back. I am not a big fan of spending money on flip-flops or the slippers. So I don't own a lot of designer slippers. I have like one or two other pair. So I probably would never need another pair. But I end up getting them just because I got them for me and I got to pay for my son. And that's really the case. And I just think I want to be a get with so I can do the whole boom, 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 monochromatic style look. One thing about the t-shirts though, the t-shirts are extremely small. The t-shirts are extremely small. I could not fit really any of them. Um... These are extra smalls, of course, but I got these for my son, so he can rock, but he's 12, so I know that they're going to even be small on him, but, you know, a snug fit shirt doesn't, doesn't, it, that's not too bad. You can get away with that. Um, so if you are getting the shirts, definitely, 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 definitely feel free to go up a size. Um, these are going to shrink big time. I can feel it. Um, but the shirts were only like 40 bucks. You can't beat that. I'm sorry. It's, it's worth a deal. Um, and I think that's it, really. Um, that's it. <laughs> so there you have it. That's my my personal review of the Moschino Collection. It, so there you have it. That is my personal review of the H&M Moschino Collabo Collection. It is actually epic. The prices weren't that bad. It took me a lot to get all of these pieces. I think I'm up to like 10,000 bucks. But this was definitely, definitely, definitely worth it. You won't be seeing me in the malls or anywhere shopping <laughs> until the end of summer. Um, definitely worth it. Um, if I had to give this collection a grade over watching all of the collaborations like Versace and like um, Alexander Wang, I have to give this an A+. The detail... Is epic the quality is amazing and and the design work is even better um, everything is not so tailored but we're moving into the day where things oversized are in so I think it works for everything that they are doing and how they did that everything about this is amazing um, so I give it an A. Alexander Wang was one of my favorites one thing I enjoy about this collection that is probably 
most key is that they actually used Moschino and they used it so bold and obnoxious and bright and just there which is something that you did not get with Versace. I thought the Versace collection was amazing. I thought the designs were amazing. I thought the fabrics was amazing. But one thing we was missing was the Medusa head. Donatella did not give us the Medusa head. We want that. That's what we want. That's iconic to Versace. And I think that that was definitely uh, thought about when they went into design work. To Let's not do that because this is the low end line. But what Jeremy Scott did for Moschino with this collaboration is give it gave it to you and gave it to you in your face 100% take it or leave it and if you did not take it you <laughs> you feel crazy this is a collection that all fashionistas wanted this is a collaboration that um all the fashionistas picked up and if you have pieces in your collection these are probably going to be some pieces that go down in history for um for, for just epic design. I actually think it was one of Jeremy Scott's and Moschino's strongest collections, more so since their opening collection with um with the McDonald's play, the the you know the M Have You Had Your Break Today um collection. But this this was epic. This is amazing. This was just what the streets needed. This is just what the people needed. This was just what the fashionistas needed. It's going to take you a very long way. Make sure you try to cop pieces if you want to be as fashionable as the fashionistas in the world. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Ethnicity Brand. I am Dez, E T H N I C I T Y B R A N D. I'm also on Facebook, Facebook at Ethnicity Brand, E T H N I C I T Y B R A N D. Or you can check me out online at www.ethnicitybrand.com. Book me for your next styling gigs, photo shoots, concerts, red carpets. We got it. Also doing custom work. We're also doing our own jewelry and getting things popping. We have to finish up. That's my personal collection, so I'm not going to show you what's over there. I have all of everything. But thank you guys for tuning in. Leave your comments below about what you thought about the collection, what you thought about this um, review, and maybe what the hell I could do to get better at this. <laughs> thank you, guys. Follow me. See you soon. Another piece that I love. This, this was epic. This is epic. I wear it this way. I know a lot of people said it was a dress. Everybody's calling it the Naomi Campbell dress because it's the dress she wore at the show. But it's really, boom. This is epic as a sweatshirt, fellas. Don't pull the strings because you're going to go into a dress. Do this. Take the strings out. I'm going to take my strings out. It feels good on the inside. It's lined with um, satin or whatever the, the, the cohesive... Um, fabric is that they use it with all of them. This is a look. Quite expensive, I think, for this shirt, to be honest. Um, $1.99, but, but it, 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 it's, it's a showstopper. Um, it's something that you probably will wear maybe once or twice a year, if that, but it's definitely, definitely, definitely one of those pieces you should get. Now, this probably was the most epic piece. This is the one piece that everybody tried to get their hands on. It was this and the mini purse. I didn't get the mini purse. I had the chance to get the mini purse, but it was crazy, and I just wasn't doing it, and it was expensive. But this is the piece, guys, guys and girls. I will say this. This piece is not meant for a woman at all. It's it's huge. It's huge. It's huge. It's huge. It's huge. It's huge. Um, for me, it, my waist is a tad bit small. I'm like a 32 waist, but I think most guys are a 32. But this doesn't really fit around my waist, even with the adjustments. But that's okay because typically I wear a pouch like this. Um, my son told me I can't keep doing this because this is how the drug dealers do it. But maybe this is just how the fashionable people do it. Uh, this is definitely epic. This is dope. I really enjoy this piece. This is an amazing piece. The leather quality is cool. It's actually not that bad. It's not the same leather that they used on the boots. And it's also not the same leather that they used on the leather pants and the leather jumper. Um, this is like premium high quality, but this is a really, really good rendition of a faux leather. Like this is really, really nice. This actually wasn't that expensive. This was like, I think 79 bucks. This is definitely a deal. If you're able to get your hands on one, I would probably even pay double for this. This is a statement piece. This is nice. This is dope. The leather jumper, this is epic. This is something I did not want. 
I was not thrilled to pay $399 for it. This is so expensive. So, well, not so expensive, like people can't afford it, but I just didn't think with the rest of the stuff that I had going on, I had some low-end stuff, some high-end stuff, I was not thrilled to pay $399 for this. But I did because I said I was going to get it and do the review. And it got here and I fucking love it. I love this. I love this. It fits good. It looks good. It it smells good. Everything about the quality, the detail with the mosquito buttons all over the place. It's it's this is this is good. This is what fashion is about. I would love to see more pieces like this. And I know that mosquito did a, a lot of uh, leather stuff for the H and M collab. And I didn't really get my hands on it because I wasn't that thrilled to pay as much for it. But this is worth it now. And now that I'm seeing it, I'm thinking about going back to get the pants. I saw the gold pants. The gold pants are for women. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get those, though. But um, the gold coat and pants and all that stuff is probably, I'm sure it's at this quality because they're all around the same price. So if you are into this kind of thing, those probably are a good buy. Those still are online because I've, just like I figured, most of the more expensive stuff was just going to stick around for a little while. Maybe I'll get it once it go on the 50% off sale, which you know it will. But if you want it and you know you want it and you need to go and get it, don't waste or don't delay. It's definitely a piece worth getting.